Good morning, folks. Plasma filaments all of a sudden towering in the corona. We'll hit the top stories of the day, starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day with the Earth facing half of the sun, much quieter than the filaments around the limb. No eruptive behaviors, and I want to quickly mention that solar wind is variable, but down in calm range and still has not sustained the 180 degree phi angle indicating sun to earth interplanetary magnetic field direction. That was expected six days ago, as we are now 13 days from the last uptick. We expect three magnitude six events every week. SDO eclipse season obviously now in full swing too. Looking to the incoming active region, it is the reason why the X-ray flux is slowly creeping up. It will need to do much more than that to produce any relevant solar flares, however. Game time for the sunspot as it enters the Earth-facing quiet zone. Weather records, starting with the heat in Melbourne, and then quickly shifting to cold and snow. Many potential records have gone down in the U.S. and Canada, with snow records too as Maui State Park gets its first snow in recorded history many other such records going down by the day. And folks, here's the U.S. climate report for January. This is the minimum daily temperatures, how low we got at night, somewhat hotter than average. But here's the maximum daily marks. Veteran observers, please help confirm for new viewers in the comment section today that this is every single month. It's not how hot the days are getting, it's that the nights are not dipping to the lows they were before. I'll confirm this for now five straight years of reporting monthly temperatures. Up next, we're at Mars, where Maven is set to make us all very dizzy. Seriously, though, it's game time for Maven as well, with a deep dive set to plunge the satellite into the tenuous Martian exosphere. We should learn a lot about space weather penetration at that first ionic boundary. Themis is reporting that in addition to the plasma hiss and chorus waves in geospace, the magnetosphere thuds like a drum and reverberates when space weather manages to sneak past the magnetopause. Game time is about over for Van Allen. Probes doing their final runs now and get to be one of the first full burn-up tested re-entry projects when they do finally come down. Last but not least, Axion Dark Matter. Not a great candidate, but looking better every time wimps fail. But here we basically give it a lottery ticket and tell it good luck. The axion would have to be very small, but it turns out that it would have to actually be the universal essence of structure to defeat these constraints. Virtually no chance for them now either. We greatly appreciate your support. People begin arriving for this weekend's conference today, but we've still got a lot in store for you here on YouTube throughout the time. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.